Hi friends and welcome back to the Cyber Haggis Man Mutton Interface. Painting, modelling, gaming, moaning and other assorted ings. This week I've got some more 3D printed models to review, this time from Model Mayhem 3D Printing Services. Later in the video you'll find a code for money off your order at Model Mayhem so you'll just have to stay tuned. Sit back, grab a brew or a brush and like and subscribe for more content involving words ending in ing. Here we are back again with a full length video. A big thank you to Andrew at Model Mayhem for sending these models through for review. We discussed him sending a couple through to review, but as you can see, he was actually very generous indeed. Model Mayhem are a new 3D printing service, initially started for printing prototypes and replacement parts for Andrew's work. And then he decided to print some models for Sun, then he got more and more requests for models, and here we are. Now, what I'm looking for in a 3D printed model is how does it compare to a regular molded model? How is the detail? Is it clear or is it fuzzy? Is there any obvious flashing or bobbly bits? 3D printing can also leave artifacts that look like ridges or striations. Is there any of that? That said, let's get into it. I've got Scully here to compare the size of the models. Scully is a standard 28mm size miniature. So first up, we've got some barrels or possibly wicker baskets. Let's have a quick Zoom in on that, focus. Yeah, there's not much to say about that really. It's a barrel or a basket. It's full of something. There's a little bit of artifact on the side, or it could just be the, the fact that it's um, a wicker basket. Moving on. A chest. Now, you've pretty much got to produce these if you are a miniature uh, making company. Everyone makes them. It looks pretty good. There's no obvious bobbling or anything. Lock looks quite nice. It's a very nice fantasy style chest. Next up, something a bit different. Got a water cooler. You don't see a lot of stuff like that. You don't see a lot of modern things. I've got some cyberpunk models coming up as well so it'll fit in nicely with that. Let's stick that next to Scully there. Yeah that's cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to paint up this top bit. I'll have to look into that. It's going to be quite interesting. A little bit of bobbling on the side there but I like that. I think we need more sort of this modern kind of thing. Um, there isn't a lot of that going about. Next we've got a pillar. Now this one, although it is very well printed, there's no obvious striation, no bobbling or artifacts. I don't see why you would 3D print this. This perhaps is a 3D print as the initial uh, master. But surely it'd be quicker and easier just to do a standard resin mold of this. That said, it's very nice. There's nothing wrong with it. You're probably just quicker doing this once and then making a resin mold of it, a rubber mold of it rather, and then using pourable resin. But it's my two cents. This is very nice. I like this a lot. So it's like a lamp. Now this is something you couldn't do with a pourable resin mould. So as you can see, the candle is up in there. Leaves and things, a vine wrapping around it. I like that. That's really cool. Again, no obvious uh, artefacts, nothing really to clean up on there. That's cool. That's a really nice piece. I really like that. Um, I think I'll probably get some more of them because I think that'll fit in really nicely with my Burrows and Badger stuff. So on to the miniatures, the actual guys themselves. First up we've got a dwarf. He looks like he's pretty much standard 28mm size dwarf, i.e. huge. He's got like a face sculpted onto his shield, that's quite cool. Again, no obvious bobbling or bits to clean up. There's I think you can probably just see it there. There's a bit of an artifact on his shield there, so it's not 
completely flat the face of the shield and you can sort of see it on the cobblestones on his base as well but i think that probably just adds to the effect of the cobblestone to be honest with you so it's not too bad nothing wrong with him pretty standard dwarf he's cool now model mayhem does various sizes of the models so here we've got a 75 millimeter print of one of their cyberpunk uh, models so she is a kind of Kusanagi type in more ways than one shall we say so she's on like a crashed drone that's pretty cool and there she is blazing away with her massive boots um yeah i mean there's again there's nothing there's no real obvious striations or bits to clean up or anything quite a lot of detail on it and this is obviously uh, upscaled from the standard 35s that uh, this range is normally so that's come out really well it's come out really nice and we'll move on to the cyberpunk range that these have come from first we have got this giant bear dude he's a cy bear get it ha 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 He's weird. I like him, but he's weird. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, when he came, this bit was broken off. There's the handle of his weapon. But, I mean, that's nothing that uh, Model Ham hey could do anything about it. Just was knocked about in the post, I think. Um, there's a lot of detail on him. So, I think you can just sort of see here that it's a bit lumpy back here. Um can't tell if it's part of the sculpt or it's part of the or per, perhaps some uh, resin artifact uh, details good for the most part it looks a little faded maybe around the top of his head there but again that could just be part of the sculpt um, yeah he's cool uh, two of my favourites coming up next, so we've got this cybernetic brawler type dude. And as I say, he's a 35, so he's quite a bit larger than uh, Scully there. I like him, he's got the standard cyberpunk visor and mohawk. So, on his back here, he has got a skull on his jacket now i think you can see there there's a little bit of bobbling and yes that he's gonna need some cleanup especially on this arm uh on his back here the jacket again i think the detail might be a little lacking here it might have just be a bit too shallow um but it looks okay i think it'll look fine once it's painted up I've certainly seen a lot worse miniatures than that. Um, yeah, I think he's going to need a bit more cleaning up than everyone else. Um, he seems a bit more bobbly and things, but he's a really nice miniature. I think it's really cool. Um, I mean, there's a lot of detail on him. Um, I think it's only just back here that it might just be a bit shallow. Next, we have got... This is probably one of my favourite miniatures I've ever seen, to be perfectly honest with you. He's so awesome. He's a cybernetic bear samurai. Or as I'm nicknaming him in, Death Pudsy. So he's got the two samurai swords there. And the cybernetic bear head, because of course. I think this is all meant to be detail on his kimono, so that's cool. A little bit of flashing around the bottom here. But the head... There's a little bit there that might need cleaned up. I mean, it's smooth. It doesn't appear to be much in the way of artifacts, which is quite impressive considering, considering it is a sphere. Um, but he's awesome. I really like that guy. <laughs> he's getting me so cool. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to paint this guy up in a full-on sort of 
cyberpunk uh, white metal head uh, purple kimono sort of thing going on but I'm probably going to get a second one and actually paint him as Death Pudsy and then he can be the second mascot for the channel and fight Scully all day long next we've got one of the classic D&D &D monsters a Beholder So he's a little bit taller than Scully, but that's for, that's right for a beholder. So, with teeth on him. <laughs> so, really nice sculpt, this. Um, again, considering it's a sort of organic shape, spherical, there aren't any real artifacts. The base is smooth, which is quite impressive. Um... Yeah, there's not much else to say about him other than I really like him. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, just going back a step, is that the cyberpunk models come with these really thick bases. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think they're really that necessary. If it were me, and I was running Model Mayhem, I probably wouldn't supply these as standard. It's a big chunk of resin for not much effect. I mean, you can see here, I won't focus, there's Scully. That's a massive chunk of resin. I mean, I guess maybe the file comes with that as standard and you can't do anything about it, but I personally wouldn't be printing this. It's a bit pointless, really. I think most people wouldn't be doing anything with them. I don't think most people would be sticking them onto this base. I might, because I think I'll probably just be using them for display purposes, because I don't really have anything to game uh, with them. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's just, uh, I can't see the point in this. Uh, finally, we have got... Let's put Scully back down here, because we're going to need him in a second to show you how big this is. Um, a troll bust... He's huge, he's cool. Now, these larger scale models, this is where you'd think you would see more of the artifacts and things. But nothing really, a little bit of cleanup needed. I think he's a little bit dusty in places, but that's easily just washed off. I mean, this is what I'm talking about back here. If you can kind of see that striation there, that that is what I'm talking about when uh, I'm saying about uh, artifacts. So if you see that on the actual model itself, it's very difficult to clean up, but there's nothing on there. There's there's no striations on the actual model himself. And he's got a lot of detail. Look at the earring there, that's cool. I've never painted a bus before. I've never painted anything at this sort of scale before. I'm probably going to do a completely separate video just on this dude, because he is awesome. I am so looking forward to uh, painting this. Now, according to Andrew, this is available from Loot Studios. I will put a link down below in the description. So if you have a 3D printer, you can get this and 3D print it yourself. If not, Andrew can print you one. Our friends at Model Mayhem have very kindly given me a discount code to give to you all. So enter YouTube 10 on their website to get a 10% discount. And remember, a portion of all the profits go to the National Autistic Society. So visit Model Mayhem, link in the description below, and you'll not only get 10% off, but you'll be helping people as well. Use discount, get models, help people. Win-win. So just to round out this video, I thought what I'd do is I would undercoat one of the models, uh, my usual grey, and then wash them with a black ink. Uh, I always do this to bring out some of the details, uh, makes it easier to paint, but it also gives us a sort of pre-shade. I've done it with Death Pudsy. Focus in. So unfortunately, I didn't. don't think I got the consistency of the ink right, which is annoying, so it hasn't pooled correctly, but oh well. I'll probably give them a bit of a wash and try again. Um, you now you can see on the head there, now that I've washed it, there's a bit of striation there on the side of the head. 
Um, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that the ink hasn't done what it usually does. Slightly annoying, but oh well. What I'm going to do with these models, I'm going to pick a few of them. Uh, Death Pudsey, the Brawler, um, the Lamp with the Vine, and of course the Bust, and I'm going to paint them up. I'll probably do a second video of this for next week. The others, I'm probably going to give away. So tune in next week if you want to see me paint up some of these models, and if you want to win a chance of getting some of them yourself. Visit Model Mayhem if you want to get your hands on any of these models and use your 10% discount code. And remember, a proportion of the profits go to the National Autistic Society. I'll leave a link to that below as well if you want to have a look at that. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of the video. We'll see you again next week. I'll be painting some of these lovely guys up. Take care. We'll speak to you soon.